okay what's up guys it's a boy bag of bread back with our next one let me jump into it one time dog so in today's video i have a complaint well actually it's more like a rant now for those of you who are watching this video and saw the thumbnail you already know who it is if you didn't see the thumbnail however i'm talking about franco now many may beg to differ but honestly this hero is like real garbage like he up there with first week release flooring it, th this year is so much garbage and watch to the end to understand why now don't get me wrong this hero has a good bit of utility he have a hook if he manage to land it it could be real team fight changing he has suppression and he has air area blah, 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 blah. area of effect slow <sighs> i'm all functioning eh? but honestly my biggest gripe with franco is not franco himself is the fact that people refer to him as a tank you don't know how much i absolutely hate when the last person have to pick and we team need a tank and that person lock franco um i'm not saying that that's 100 percent a bad idea but Bro, we need a tank. Franco is not a tank. And that's the main theme of this video. When you think of a tank, you're thinking a big guy who could take a lot of hits. He just big and could take a lot of hits. That's, that's more or less all that comes to mind. Can't think of anything else right now, but yeah, that's, that's besides the point. Franco is like the complete opposite of that. One of the main things a tank supposed to do is you get in front and soak a lot of damage, be on the front line. When last you see a Franco in the front line? Exactly, me neither. And this is to no fault of the Franco users, his kit just designed for him to be a backline hero, despite being a tank. Think of literally any other tank in the game. The entire playstyle is based around getting on the front line, crowd controlling enemies, soaking damage, being a pest. Everything that being on the front line involves. Not Franco though. Franco is literally always in the back, chilling with the marksman, trying to land a hook. And speaking of the hook, which is the core of his mechanics. I think where his hook is now, it's in a weird spot because I think it could use a real small buff, something like a speed increase or a slight range increase. But at the same time, I feel like if that does happen, then it would just be way too broken, so it's kinda in a funny spot. However though, the fact remains that currently it's way too easy to dodge, and the enemy Franco landing a hook is either luck or relying on the enemy to be oblivious and unaware of what's happening but as long as the enemy knows the hook coming then it probably gonna get dodged even before franco got the support tag added to him i've been saying that he's literally a support and i humbly think they should shift franco's mechanics more to damage than to tanking because currently he's a mediocre tank when a team fight is happening, Franco can't really gain because one, he's soft like paper, and two, when he gain, he most effective skill in a team fight is the second skill, and that ain't really doing much. I mean, he does have his ultimate, which is a suppression skill, which is the strongest form of crowd control in the game. But good luck landing that without fullest landing your hook. You'll get kited to death, trust me. It doesn't really make sense for a Franco to gain because like I said, he's soft like paper and will get kited to death. You can't really do much after that. And another thing, the hook, the cooldown of the hook is way too long. If you miss a hook while a team fight happening, that's basically it. You more or less useless for the entire fight. And that's a huge issue. Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing about 3 seconds of cooldown shave off of his first skill. 
but then, like I mentioned before, if you meet a real pro, experienced Franco user, you might have the issue of the Franco landing too many hooks. But honestly, at this point, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Because this hero is way too much garbage. Anytime Franco is on my team or the enemy team, I ain't not even joking, I start keeping count. But it's probably a loss for whoever has the Franco. I'm not even making this up. I want you to check it for yourself. Now, people might say this is due to his high skill ceiling, which is honestly a fair debate, but I say in that is due to him being a mediocre tank and people using him as a tank. As a support, yeah, great hero. Because he's a very good guard hero when it comes to locking down those slippery assassins like Fanny and Hayabusa. He's really good at doing that. But again, he's not a support. He's a tank. So my closing thoughts would be that I think Moonton should make him more of a damage-based hero than a tank hero. Or just call him a support and give him support-like mechanics. I wouldn't mind that either. So anyway, I would like to hear you guys non-biased. I put an emphasis on that non-biased thoughts towards Franco and that's about it for this video I hope all you enjoyed this video Bye, Gabriel signing out